Hi guys, my name is Karina, but you can call me Nikki. <sighs> I did the same intro. I think that's just not gonna win. <sighs> that's just not gonna go away now. So this is a new channel, and it's called Bookish Babbles. And this is just a channel where I'm just gonna speak about books and uh, just express my love for those books. But for today, we are going to do my spring wrap up and my summer TBR. So. Let's go first through my spring wrap up. Hopefully this is a short video, but I actually read a good amount of books um, that I'm very proud of. So let's get started. First book that I completed this spring was Shatter Me by Todd Maffey. And I heard this on audiobook and I gave it a three stars. It wasn't the best book I ever read. It was also a dystopian, which I don't really love dystopian novels. I felt like the start was a little iffy. I didn't get the main character and I didn't like her um, love interest. So I was like, hmm. And then we got to a part where the action started to get really exciting. Like everything was, you know, we were in the climax, like stuff was happening. You know, we met the antagonist and everything and then it just like got back down to the ugh, you know just like boring I don't like Adam anyways <laughs> um, so yeah I give it a three stars it wasn't bad but it wasn't also amazing like I didn't hate it I didn't feel like ugh. I did listen to it in just one day whilst I was reading what? whilst I was cleaning the house and I did enjoy it it was just not the story that I would normally gravitate towards or like go out of my way to read. You know what I mean? I hope you get it. <laughs> okay, and then after that, I also read Passenger by Alexander Bracken and I lent my copy out to my book buddy because I loved it so much. I just wanted her to read it and I was like, oh my god, you need to read this. It was an amazing book and I did like half audiobook, half reading because this was a hard month for me. A lot of stuff with school was going down. I was taking my AP test, uh, mock exam, and I was like, ah, you know, like stuff was happening. So to sit down and actually read was really hard unless I was in school. So a lot of books are audiobooks this month, so I'm sorry if you don't like audiobooks. Anyways, Passenger was so good. I, I think that's my favorite. Mm, I'm gonna say my second favorite of this spring uh, season that I have read. I enjoyed it the whole way through. The traveling was amazing. If you go to my original channel and you look at my haul, I talk a little bit more about it. I'll link it here. Here. I'll link it here. Um, but it was just such a fun ride. And I loved the love interest and the love felt real for me like you know it was a little bit insta lovey but it felt real like I, it felt like they actually liked each other and they had very good chemistry and like I loved every character I even loved the bad guys and it was like it was just a fun read I was a little bit disappointed on one part which is why I gave it a four stars but if you read my Goodreads review, which I will link my Goodreads down below, then you will know why. I don't really want to spoil anything. But if you're looking for some time travel romance, it's more of a historic fiction rather than sci-fi fiction. So if you're looking for sci-fi, that's not the book for you. Uh, but if you're looking for a little bit of historical fiction, that one's really good. And it talks just... it's beautiful. Next, I read Winter Song by S.J. Jones. And this is also, if you look at my haul, is a book that I was very excited to read and I had very high expectations for, but I was severely let down. Like this, I read it, uh, <laughs> I rated it two stars, and I think I've only rated another book two stars, and I DNF'd that book, and I actually read this whole book. And I was just dying for it to end, and not in a good way. I didn't like the relationship in the book. It was just not my cup of tea. Like, it, it is like a fantasy romance, which I was kind of feeling. But I feel like my 
my romance was kind of like from passenger like I was good and then I was just like trying to read this and it was like a hundred pages of me just going oh my god just end end it and it was just so many things like she the world building I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant the world building was not my favorite they go to the underworld and it's very underdeveloped we're we're just always in her room or in another place and there was so much so there was so much more that she could have done with the world and like built it more like I, she gave us backstory but I feel like the world itself like she could have gone out rather than just staying in her room and just moping around and it's just like look um I might give the next book a try but I don't know I'm just like I'm gonna need a break before I do because I was just so let down like this came with high expectations for me, which is also my fault for having very high expectations, but I don't know, not my fave. After that little bit of disappointment, I could not physically read a book, so I went again to another audiobook that my sister had been begging me for the longest time to read, and that is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. And I had put off reading this book for the longest time. I kept saying, no, it is a middle grade, I'm not gonna read it, it's not gonna be my cup of tea, like, it's, no. Like, I am used to reading romance, and I knew that was like a children's book, it's not a children's book, but like, you know what I mean. So, like, for me, that was like, I'm not gonna like it, right? So I listened to it on audiobook, and that was the funnest book I have ever read. I was literally laughing out loud. I was like listening to the audiobook and just like, like I was smiling like an idiot, doing my makeup and laughing. And I just flew through it. It was such a fun ride. I love Percy. He's so sassy. Like he, it, he's a little smart mouth and I love him for that and I love every single character in it. And I was the kind of person who saw the movie first and then decided I'm not gonna like it. I know, I'm sorry, don't hate me. But yeah, I did that, and I, I loved this book. And I am genuinely excited to listen to The Sea of Monsters. This is also going to be the kind of series that I listen to. So I, I did have low expectations for it, which I like to do with most books, just lower my expectations by a lot. But if you haven't listened to this book or read this book, read it. It is so fun. Percy is such a funny character everyone's just great you know and after Percy Jackson while I was listening to it actually I started reading the Star Touch Queen by Roshani Choshki this is just uh, the uh... yeah this this is that part I have the book in my bag but I'm too lazy to go get it um, I'm actually reading it right now I'm like on page a hundred um, and I have been having trouble, uh, starting this book, just because I, I think, uh, Winter Song put me in such a slump of physical books and actually staying there and reading it. I just feel like I don't, I don't want to read anymore. Like, I'll listen to a book, but I'm not going to read it. That's kind of how I feel right now, which is why I don't like Winter Song very much, because it put me in a little bit of a slump. So... Yeah, I'm reading The Sartos Queen. So far, it is a good story, I will say. It is about this Indian girl. I think she's Indian, right? But it's it's just an amazing world, only a hundred pages in. It's a different world where there's a bazaar and like... Bazaar, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it has so many like different words that I, I literally read it like this, like I open it, I read, and I have Google Translate right there just typing away. And then after that, I have almost finished the audiobook for Unravel Me, which is the sequel to Shatter Me. And let me tell you, I am loving this book. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Like. This book is what I wanted book one to be. Like, we had a fight scene. We had her being kick-ass. Like, we had her being a little bit more of a strong woman rather than being this weak, just like, shriveled down character. I feel like she really comes to herself. She's still 
really insecure and really emotional but I feel like she's growing as a character and I'm really enjoying it and we also got a lot more of Warner which I stand and I will be doing a review if you read Shatter Me leave a comment down below with a little heart I mean unravel me a little heart if you know what I'm talking about because that one scene with Mr. Warner got me shook and I stan. I feel like it is gonna be a four stars just because I did like I wasn't absolutely in love with it but I also found myself not being able to stop listening to the audiobook like I listened to I listened to the audiobook for four hours straight I didn't do anything I only listen to audiobooks while I'm doing my makeup when I'm getting ready or I'm cleaning and I literally did nothing yesterday and I couldn't stop listening to the audiobook. I'm like, I'm gonna read a physical book, right? But I I was so into the story, like I wanted to know how it ended. And I only have one hour left, so I really feel like I'm gonna finish Unravel Me this week. Then we have The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. And this I am again I'm doing this um part audiobook part ebook because I am reading this for school and we read them for English. We do a lot of stuff with Google Class and everything. Um, and we are reading it like on ebook and also listening to the audiobook. And this is such a... I feel like it's a hard story to digest. Like I'll listen to something that happens and like I was listening to it at lunch today and it's just like it brought my mood down. Like it's just like ugh. Like, it, it's the story about how this woman, she grows up in a poor family, and it's just the happenings of the family as she grows up. And I, I, it is a truly sad story, and I feel like, there is a movie out, I think, but I feel like every time that you read the reviews, everyone's hating on the parents, and then I also saw a video today about how hard it is to live in poverty, and like, parents do as much as they can. To, to give their children everything that they can and like it's hard to hate the parents because it, it is a very complicated family dynamic that this girl goes through and 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 you want to hate the parents but you also at least I understand what they're going through like I can see why they would do these certain things like I want to just smack them off across the face sometimes because like something's happening I'm just like why is this happening? Like, you have a child. Why Why are these things happening to this child? Right? She's like three years old and this one thing happens. I don't want to spoil anything. But it's the kind of story that makes me very angry and I just want to burst in through this story and just be like, hey, freaking just fix it, you know? And I think this is based on a real story. I think I think the the author actually went through this in her life and this is just her life story so like I guess a memoir but it is truly heartbreaking and it just it it just put me in a bad mood and I just want to talk to someone about it but like no one in my class has read it yet so like I'm just like uh, but if you do want to see a review on that I'll probably have a good reads review and I'll probably like talk a little bit about it on here um, yeah, I just want to keep talking about it to be honest, and I'm only like four hours into the audiobook and like I think a hundred pages into the book. But yeah, very heartbreaking, just complicated story to read, honestly. So yeah, that is all for my spring wrap up, and now I'm going to go on to my summer TBR. So for my summer TBR, I don't want to put a lot on my plate, although summer is three months. Um. Yeah, summer's three months. So I do have a lot of room to listen to audiobooks and to read physical books. But I will be doing a little bit of this thing that I've been seeing around, uh, where people just put uh, their books that they haven't read or have DNF'd. They put it in a little cup, they mix it around, and they pick uh, a paper and they read from there. So for this summer, I have picked three books from there and I'll tell you which ones they are. So for this summer I'm going to be reading Lord of the Rings, The Unbecoming of Mare Dyer, and An Unkindness of Magicians. These are all these. I put them in a little box and I have a lot of other books there that I want to get to. And I also put there the books that I DNF'd and I really want to give another th 
try. Another try, which is why the unbecoming of Mayor Dyer is here. And, uh, yeah. I'm very excited about all of these. I didn't necessarily get the ones that I wanted. I do want to read a Brandon Sanderson's book over the summer. I'm really hoping for Warbreaker because I read a sample. I read. Because I listened to a sample of the audiobook and it was truly amazing. Like, I was like, what is this? Am I listening to a movie? Like, it was great. I loved it. Or just like physically reading it. And I also want to read The Name of the Wind, but I feel like that's also a lot of fantasy to read in one summer and I also want to read one contemporary like that's gonna be one of my goals for the summer a Brandon Sanderson book and a contemporary I rarely close to ever read um, contemporary I think the only real contemporary that I have read has been The Distance Between Us by Casey West and I actually donated that book uh, and I really enjoyed it but I feel like I don't know it just doesn't call me as much so yeah <laughs> I don't know so if you guys do want to know about the books that I have read this summer please subscribe so that you know when I do my summer wrap-up I might do a midsummer wrap-up because I'm gonna be reading a lot of books and listening to a lot of audiobooks I do really enjoy listening to audiobooks by the way if you don't like listening to audiobooks I'm very sorry but you should give them a try because they're very good um so yeah I think that's all for today I really hope you guys enjoyed my video again my name is Karina for those of you who don't know me I do have a beauty lifestyle channel which I will link down below if you do, do want to subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy my channel I really really enjoy books which is why I started Bookish Babbles, which is where I will babble about bookish things. Is babble a word? I think it is. Whatever. It's a word. That's my channel name. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys!